because I'm out and about and have eaten. It's 10 30. I, I was probably going to fast until noon, but I'm really hungry today. So I'm going to go ahead and stop my fast now and eat this. Hey guys, so I'm making my lunch. Um, all I've had today was that meat stick. I'm going to make some chicken salad um, with Parma Kitchen Mayo. And the chicken salad is from Thrive Life, which is the brand that I sell. You can make your own chicken salad out of canned chicken, whatever you want to do, or rotisserie. Um, but I'm just going to show you how this stuff works because some of you have asked me, you know, how to make freeze-dried food. How do you do that? What What's it all about? Anyway, so I will show you real quick. Also, I have no makeup on today, so excuse me again. Um, yeah, riding the struggle bus. We have like cars broken down around here and I'm running around uh, being chauffeur to my other family and... God, I'm about to hit the road again after I make this, so I had no time to get it put on this morning. <laughs> so here you go. Let me show you how I'm going to do this. Okay, so this uh, is the chicken salad. They, they come. This is for a single serving, so this is one serving in this little pouch. I'm going to make a bigger serving, but I just wanted to show you these little to-go things is, are what um, you can buy for one person. Or you can buy all the ingredients that are in it in, in bigger amounts, keep them for other times, um, which is fine too. But... Um, this has the celery, the onions, and the chicken in it, and it's four total carbs, one dietary fiber, so three net carbs for this whole pouch. Um, I'm going to make, this is the kind that, the big size that I can buy that's already mixed together since I'm a consultant, but you can buy the chicken, the celery, and the uh, chopped onion separately and make your own up, um, which is what I do a lot of times too, but I, I just bought one of these so I could throw it together, and, and these were sold out, so anyways... So I'm going to mix this up. So when you have any kind of freeze dried food, it has a little oxygen absorber in there. You always want to take that out because obviously you don't want to eat that. Um, and then I'm just going to dump this whole thing into this bowl. And this is a, this is the like a mini serving here um, out of my can. And this is what it looks like freeze dried, you guys. So it's 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 hard, right? Okay. But this is real chicken, real celery, real onions, nothing added to it, okay? So now I'm gonna add water to this, put the lid on it um, for a minute or two, and then I'm gonna add my, uh, or for a few minutes, and then I'm gonna add some mayo to it. Some people add the mayo at the same time as the water, you can do that too. Um, I've, I've done it both ways. Also, I'm gonna add some salt and pepper um, to this also. Let me grab a measuring cup for my water. Okay, so I'm putting my water in. I've already put one and a fourth cup in here. Here's my, so this big container is two and a fourth cup. For these little pouches, I think you only need a fourth a cup is all you need. And yeah, and you just add it to the, the bag. So now I'm gonna stir this up. And then add my seasoning. And it will start rehydrating the vegetables rehydrate um, like the celery and the onion a whole lot quicker obviously than the chicken but it's already starting to get softer you can see that all mixed up there one of these days i'm going to get a good light for in here so y'all can see everything better let's see all right so i'm going to add my salt and pepper and it's to taste guys And, you know, I may add more after I taste it, after the mayo's in here. I think I am going to go ahead and add my mayo. I've got so much running around to do. There's my salt. Pink Himalayan sea salt. Get the mayo. I use Primal Kitchen, or I make my own usually. Um, I have used Duke's before. Um, I just don't like... Um, the canola oil or whatever that soy that's in it so I tend to try to use this or make it okay now I'm gonna mix it all together see if it's creamy enough and then I'm gonna stick it in the fridge guys and it's gonna be ready for me to eat for lunch and for my husband to have some for lunch here in a bit and it really only takes like when I made the one in, in the pouch it only take took like five minutes and it was ready to go but when you're making a big batch like this the longer it sits the better because it soaks up all of the the seasoning and all that yummy stuff all right 
I'm going to put the lid on that and stick it in the fridge. I will show you it later when I eat it. Okay, so I've packed up some chicken salad for me to take with me. Um, that way I can eat it in the car. Um, and I've also packed five Brazil nuts and some uh, pecans, a fourth a cup of pecans to take with me. And I'll take a better picture of that and put it in here. Um, but that's what my lunch is going to be today. I usually use flackers with, with my chicken salad or pork rinds, but it's going to be too hard to eat it in the car and get everything done. So, I will see you guys later. Hey guys, so um, let me turn the radio down so you can hear me, maybe. I'm going to show you my chicken salad that I'm going to eat in the car <laughs> and my nuts. Oh, and here's my nuts. Hey guys. Well, I look like a, still look like a hot mess. Yes. Anyway, so I'm finally home from being chauffeur and grandma and all that stuff. Um, we, we're trying to get a battery in my daughter's car and storm hit sky, storm fell out of the sky, you know. Anyway, forever, it took forever. <laughs> so I'm gonna show you what I'm making. I'm making, uh, I have a package of chorizo and I've added some, uh, I have one green bell pepper I need to use and two tablespoons of my Thrive chopped onions. I um, cooked that up and then I added uh, four eggs and scrambled it in with it. And then I'm gonna serve that over mashed cauliflower. So I'll show you that in a second. So here's the chorizo uh, with the egg scrambled up in it and the bell pepper and I'm going to serve this over the um, this mashed cauliflower and I will show you what it looks like all plated up. Okay, so here is the finished food and my husband will probably put some cheese on his but mine I'm not doing dairy as you know so I'm not going to put any cheese on mine but I'm going to mix it all together but I want to show you it's just on top of the cauliflower just like that and there's my dryer. <laughs> All right, I'll talk to you guys later.